If you ask me what my favorite type of logic component is in Terraria, that's actually a really easy question to answer. It's uh, the bidirectional shift register, of course. Now, you might ask, what is a bidirectional shift register? So, imagine this. You have a row of lamps and two switches. Only one lamp should be active at a time, but when you press the switch, the lamp that is active should move, or again, shift, to the left or the right. So how do we accomplish this? Well, let's start by a simple one that only goes in one direction. We can place down a few logic gates with some space between them, and then connect the first one to its own lamp and the lamp of the next one. And then do the same with the second one to the third one and the third one to the fourth one. And then we can bring the fourth one back to the first one so that it loops around. Then finally connect an input switch to all of the faulty gates. And that should be all. So we press the switch and it goes one step to the right. Now how do we make it bi-directional so we have two buttons for both directions? Well, the trick is to make two single directional shift registers that go in opposite directions and then just connecting them together. In order to connect them, just connect the wire above to the lamp below and then also make them activate the next one, since they're supposed to be shift registers to the left. Now let's connect the top row of faulty gates to one switch, also the right shift register, and then the bottom row of faulty lamps to the other switch, or again the left shift register. There you go, it works. Now there's a lot of different types of shift registers, so let's take a look at a couple different ones. Here we have a vertical shift register, which instead of going horizontal, it, well, goes vertical. If you put a horizontal shift register and a vertical shift register together, you get a quad directional shift register, which means a shift register that can be moved in four different directions, like this one. If you want a lot of modularity, you can make a binary counter. And this means you can both add one and subtract one. Or if you want to take it even further, you can add or multiply several binary counters together and then just use a binary translator to get the output. Make sure to join our Discord server, link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!